government evil? Probably not. Yeah, probably it is. It probably is, actually. Why? Well, if you think about it, these guys, if they go for Congress, they switch from Democrat to Republican, not based on philosophy, but based on which one they think is going to win and which one is going to refuse to alienate them and their voice. Also, they look for the best pension if they're in Congress. Um, they also basically, their president, after serving one or two four-year terms, they will have a nice job afterwards from a corporation that they've helped out. That's true in its own way. But unlike most zeitgeist morons or Alex Jones morons, I'm just going to say it out there. They're not trying to have a world hegemony. Simply put, they're just like us. They have no faith in our current government. You know, it's not going to be stable. It's not going to be as powerful as it was 100 years ago. So, they're basically saying, fuck it, YOLO. And they're trying to move up the ladder. They're not trying to build an empire. Because building an empire takes legitimate work. It takes saving this nation for a little while. Just like the fall of Rome. These are guys that probably read about politics less than me. And I don't read about politics as much as I should. They're not interested in educating themselves. They're just out there for an interesting show. I'm trying to make a nice little Looney Tunes form of entertainment for us and then they can move up the ladder because when they move up that ladder then we'll have our daily fix of entertainment they'll have their future because their odds are they're probably old they won't see the fall we will so let's all laugh it up because once this empire falls, then basically all we'll have left is a new dark age. And perhaps it'll be better. But I, for one, can say that either way, this is shit river and we're traveling downstream. So, are they evil? Yeah. They're evil. They're not trying to rule the world. There's no new world order. If there is, then it's probably not going to be a very popular one. Probably not going to be as serious as most zeitgeist or NWO morons think it is. Or Alex Jones dickheads. But it's more about them just moving up the ladder. Moving up a strange hierarchy that awards them with nothing but a little bit of more, more money in their pockets, nicer home, knowing that their families and their crazy daughters will probably um, probably have some inheritance, and that's about it. They don't care about us. They don't care about the views or policies that will keep us in stability they don't care at all uh, and you're just as bad as they are because believe it or not you don't care either you don't study politics because you want to save people and if you do the closest that feeling is is just crusaderism coursing through your veins where you you have nothing to do, so you're picking up politics books, getting the shittiest views, and assuming that you can save the world because the people that want to save the world the most nowadays are people that have nothing to fucking do. So, fuck them.
fuck that and fuck you guys. This has been a Mr. Wonka 7 video and suck my dick.